Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Desert Adventures in Arizona on this beautiful spring day. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, uh, this is a brand new laptop. I just got it set up last night. Does it sound okay to everybody? Uh, can you let me know? Give me some ones in the chat if it sounds all right. In the meantime, I'll jump in and get started. Hope everyone's having a happy Monday. Just want to say a quick thank you to Grandma Kelly's Clean Life, Clean Living. I ordered one of her cups and it came in yesterday. Really nice cup. It's stainless steel. I'm drinking my coffee in it this morning. So one of my channel subscribers and what I try to do is pay it back when folks subscribe and support the channel. 
Well, good coffee, good coffee. While I'm at it, uh, thank you to CR View, Traveling Tramps, Grandma Kelly, Johnny's Journeys, Fit for Expedition, Van Life Rocks, Blind Views, Gracie and Jacques Adventures, Crafty Traveler, Naj, Jolly Matilda, Box Van D, who was my very first channel member, is a great supporter. Step Van Dan, Mo Bang for Your Bucks, Roy and Becky's Travels, who are coming up here at 10 o'clock Arizona time, traveling Merton and Sue. And that is it for now. All right. Everybody hear me okay? All right, let's see who we have here. Char of Heart was the first one in the house. Good morning, good morning. And don't forget Van Life Voyages is coming up at 9 a.m. Pacific time. She's doing, uh, Tanya's doing her coffee chat and then she's gonna give us an update on Derek and how he's doing. He had an operation recently and uh, hopefully he's doing well and recovering. Mel and Nettie are in the house. Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy hanging out with them on Friday nights. Feel free to drop any links, moderators, for your channels or others. Rose is in the house. Good morning, good morning. Rose is dropping links for channels. And look at here, we got Mr. Lucas here. Good morning, Lucas. Want to say good morning to everybody, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's wanting to go out and play, of course. But he just wanted to stop in and give kisses and say good morning to everybody, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. All right. He's doing well. Lucas is doing real well. We, uh, we got a training caller for him, and it's working well. When he goes out to bark at somebody walking by, you know, not doing any harm, he starts barking at him. We give him a little beep on the collar and that breaks his attention. He comes running right back to the house. So we, we only had to shock him once the very first time. And from then on, we just give him a beep and he stops barking. He runs right back to the house. Hawkins Family Adventures is here. Good morning, Sandra. You are not late. No worries at all. Scrolling, scrolling. All right. So it looks like Rose is, Rose is headed to Parker. Cool. There's Hawkins Family Adventures link. Oh, riding with Merton and Sue. Okay. And all three dogs. Oh, that should be fun. Very cool. Merton and Sue uh, have a live stream on Sunday afternoon, and they're showing their puppies. Their puppies, um, Gracie and Spike, are growing, growing, growing. They're so cute. Ringo and Zars here. Good morning, Ringo. Hope you're doing well. All right, got the ones there. Thank you very much. So uh, back in, I think, the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, I bought a laptop for the channel to do videos on. And I, I started moving into Apple products. Now, I've had a, an Apple phone for a lot of years. And what I like about Apple is that you can share things between your devices very easily. I used to be an Android fan, um, learned about Apple when I was working and kind of carried on with Apple products after I retired. So anyway, I bought the laptop and I bought the basic MacBook Air and it works pretty good, except it doesn't have enough RAM memory. It only has eight megabytes of RAM memory. Well, as it turns out, that's not enough to do videos with when you're trying to put together a bunch of clips and make a, you know, a 15 or 20 minute video, 
you need a lot of memory and I didn't have enough. So it was very frustrating to use this laptop. Well, yesterday uh, I was looking on uh, kind of shopping around for another laptop and Best Buy had a three day sale on laptops and a bunch of other stuff. If you know Best Buy, they're an electronic store. There's two of them here in Tucson. They're a little pricey, but they have very good tech support. Again, pricey, but they have very good tech support and good stock. Well, they were offering $800 off on a MacBook Pro. And so I ordered one online and went to the store and picked it up yesterday. Turned out to be very easy to set up. They have a program where you can take everything from your old laptop and migrate it to your new laptop. And it took about three hours to do that. It was over 230,000 files and it worked flawlessly. I was very impressed with how it worked. And so here I am running on a MacBook Pro. I have about four times the memory the RAM memory is the old laptop. And I've been working on a video that I really got frustrated with on the old laptop. Took my granddaughter out to the petroglyphs. And so I was trying to put these clips together. And you know how in the old days, <clears throat> you had to, you know, the old computers, you had to do something and then wait for it to catch up. Well, that's what I was having to do on this laptop. It reminded me of, you know, working on computers back in the 80s and very frustrating. So I finally bit the bullet, bought this MacBook Pro for $800 off. I got it for just a little bit more than I bought the MacBook Air for uh, three, four years ago. So I'm really happy with it and it's going to help ease the burden of putting videos together. So Anyway, thanks for uh, putting up with that discussion. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, there is Casey Jones here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. And then there's Casey's channel. There's Lily T. Good morning. Good morning. Lily uh, had a cute video on her channel of Pippi. Um, Pippi running around the yard playing with a stick with another family dog. And it's, uh, it's really cute. She's growing like a weed. She's uh, 50 some pounds now and she's like seven months old. Amy is here. Good morning, good morning. Stopped in to say hello. Thanks for popping in, Amy. Hope your Monday's going well so far. And Fairy Dust Brene uh, is here. Good morning, good morning. Scrolling, scrolling. The twin sisters, you know, Lily and, and Sandra are twin sisters. It's really cool having them both in the chat. You don't see that very often, huh? There's Mel and Nettie's channel. Thank you, Brene. <clears throat> yeah, it is a lot of fun on Friday nights. A lot of fun. Lorna is here, another great channel supporter. Thank you, Lorna, for coming in. Hope your Monday is going well. There's Kyle's channel. Yeah, Lucas is uh, doing well. Uh-oh, we got trouble in the house. Ron Darrell Adventures is here. Good morning, good morning. Speaking of trouble, here he is again. Here he is again. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, mister? Yeah. He wants attention all the time. Never stops. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, are you spoiled? I think you're spoiled. Yeah, he's nibbling on me and licking me. <laughs> he's a very lovable boy. We're, we're lucky to have him. Everybody's saying hello to Ron. There's Ron's channel. Thank you, Rose. Ron uh, does, uh, he's kind of getting on a schedule here of doing live streams around 8 o'clock p.m., 8 to 9. Oh, copper scared a pippy scholar, huh? 
That's funny. I think it, I heard from Lily, it's working pretty well. Jane Braves in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. Hope you're keeping the uh, badge in line up there. Or I'm not sure if you guys are still camping together. All right. There's Pippi and Copper's new video. Okay. So that was Copper. All right. Yeah, that was cute. There's Jane Bray's channel. It was nice to meet Jane up there in in Ironwood at the at the meetup. There's Ivan K. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, uh, headed back to Quartzsite. Okay. Yeah, we had a good time up in Quartzsite. We went up there for I think about ten days. Oki and I went up there and uh, hung out and uh, got to hang out with uh, Roy and Becky and lots of folks up there. She Devil Adventures is here. Good morning, good morning. That four-letter word called work. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I want an Apple MacBook Pro. I know, Tommy. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a, <clears throat> well, I... I don't know if I'm cheap or not. I buy, I try to buy things. This is, you know, oh, it's got a green case on it. But this MacBook Air did pretty well for me. But again, it just doesn't have the RAM. And so I struggled with it for the last probably six months to a year is my videos you know, editing skills got better and I tried to improve my videos. I wanted to add more to it, um, do some music and, and different things. And and this laptop just was so frustrating. Now I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm gonna use it to watch everybody's videos and also uh, watch some TV programs that, that I can get over the internet. So. It uh, served me well, but this MacBook Pro, boy, I, I started working on a video this morning, or resumed, actually. And that's the thing. I was able to transfer everything from the old to the new, like I said. <clears throat> and then I just picked up editing on the same uh, on the same program on Filmora and just kicked right in there. And, boy, everything just clicked and went really fast. So I'm really excited. It was money well spent, and I got a good deal on it. You know, you sometimes you buy things and you think, did you get ripped off? Well, I got a good deal on this one. There's Tommy's channel. She has a great bus build she's working on. Thank you, uh, Brene. Quit smoking on week three. Only part is when the meds, oh, the meds make coffee yucky. So I'm also not getting caffeine. Uh, Sandra, have you tried like a tea, green tea? Some that That's a, a little bit of caffeine if you need it. PSV Odyssey is here. Good morning, good morning. Driving and listening. Good to have you. Yeah, you got to check out She Devil's channel. I need to run over there and see if she's done an update on her bus. I know she was she's even putting air conditioning in it. Yeah, I know it's you know you hate to give up on the old computer, but sometimes you have to set it aside and and move on to the next better one. And that's the tough part, isn't it? Is doing your research. And then deciding what you're going to buy. And then, of course, getting the money together to, uh, you know, to purchase it. And I remember back in the day when Oki and I were pretty uh, not bad off, but we didn't have a whole lot of money, especially being in the military. And she used to count uh, bread. You know, when we had kids in the house and you know how teenagers are, they eat everything the uh, that they can get their hands on. Well, we used to have to count slices of bread uh, to see to make sure we had enough to make it to payday. 
And a lot of people are, are living that life now. Uh, I'm lucky enough to where I have a retirement <clears throat> that doesn't change. And so since I retired in 2018, we have you know, a couple of uh, retirement checks that come in that keep us comfortable. And so I can put aside money for traveling and then put aside a little bit of money to upgrade like this laptop. So, okay, the other dog was copper. Okay. There's Paul's channel, PSV Odyssey. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. You know, and he's doing much better. Lucas is doing much better uh, with people. Now, once he meets someone, you know, when they come to the gate, he'll bark and bark and bark. But he's not aggressive barking. He's like, who are you? What are you doing here? Um, and so once the person comes in and we introduce him and then that he understands this person is nice, going to be nice to me. Um, then he's fine with them. In fact, once he gets to know people, he's really super friendly. He wants them to pet him and not stop. There we go. Van Life Voyages is here. Good morning. Good morning, Tanya. I pinned uh, Tanya's uh, link to the top of the chat for her uh, live stream coming up at 9 o'clock this morning, so in about 40 minutes. There it is again. Thank you, Rose. Everybody's saying hello. Traveling on Adventures is here. Howdy, howdy. They just did a, they've been doing live streams on, on their driving uh, from place to place as they change campgrounds. So that's kind of fun to watch. And then Traveling on Adventures, if you don't know, the they're retired teachers. And uh, Terry is still doing some uh, work in that field. The uh, driving videos are, are fun to watch. And also they're participating in Mel and Nettie's uh, live streams on Friday night. Um, really fun as well as Kenny and also... Oh, there's... Mel Mo Bang for your bucks, another channel member. Good morning, good morning. Watching and eating lunch on the side of the road in Florida. Wow, where are you off to? That's a long way from Illinois. There's traveling on adventures link. Yeah, Florida, huh? There's Mo Bang for your bucks. He's, uh, if you don't know, he's doing a lot of videos on, on his van and how he's uh, basically put the van together. He's got power in it and he's got a, a lithium battery. And uh, Tim is, is a uh, technician retired technician from the Air Force. So he used to work on airplanes. So he knows how to do wiring and stuff like that. Oh, you guys have one too, huh? Cool. There's Roy and Becky Stretch. Howdy, just waking up. Well, glad you made it. Thanks for being here. And again, Roy and Becky's travels coming up. If somebody could drop their link, that'd be great. And there it is. Rose is on it this morning. Thank you, Rose. All right. Catching up here. There's Roy and Becky. James Catanese is here. Good morning, James. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. You know, I just saw Lucas go zipping by the window there. I think Oki's got him outside. All right, Lily. Good to see you. Got to go. All right, what else do we have here? We got, uh, we better do a weather check. Oh, we got something new. Incognito metal detecting. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for being here today. Hey, Siri, what's the weather here? 
It's currently cloudy and 50 degrees. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, she does. Oh, 74. It's going to be 74 for a high today. Wow, that's perfect. It's a little bit cloudy, though. 74 is pretty good. Pretty good. Fox fan D is here. Good morning, D. Thanks for being here. I mentioned to everybody earlier, you're one of my, you are my first channel member. So thank you very much for your support. Sold our house in a rental, bought a cheaper house, put the rest in a term deposit and live off the interest. Awesome. Very cool. There's traveling on adventures link. All right, thank you for popping in. I appreciate it very much. So what's going on in our life right now? Well, Oki uh, has a kidney stone. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. I have not. I know that Terry has experienced it and it, it was very painful for her and watching Oki go through it um, is, is terrible, terrible amount of pain. So she started having, you know, a back ache for, for a couple of days. And then it moved around to the front. And then Wednesday night, Thursday morning, she woke me up around 10 o'clock at night. And she said, I think I'm going to have to go to the hospital tomorrow is what she told me. And I said, okay, we'll go in the morning. I went back to sleep. She woke me up at about 3 a.m. And she said, we need to go now. She had terrible pain, she couldn't sleep. So I loaded her up in the truck and started driving to Northwest Hospital in the Tucson area. And on the way there, she said, I don't know if I can make it. So on the way there, I called 911, um, got hold of them. I said, hey, I'm taking her to uh, to the uh, fire station, our local fire station. They said, no, pull over, we'll send them to you. So I pulled over, gave them the cross streets. They sent a ambulance out and picked her up and hauled her in to the uh, to Northwest Hospital. So I'm following along. I get there and say, okay, well, she's going to be okay. She's going to be okay because the hospital is the best place, right, to be. Well, we sat in there, and I don't know if you guys have the same problem where you're at, but the staffing at these hospitals is not what it used to be. They, they're they short on nurses. They are they seem to be short on doctors. They're short on techs. Um we actually had a paramedic on the floor there in the ER that was uh, was the nurse, and then they had another supervisor nurse there. But anyway, we're we're going in there. We go into the ER. We check in because they brought her in an ambulance. Usually, you get priority compared to people that walk in. Well. All the beds were full, or at least the beds that they had open were full. There were three people waiting in the um, in the uh, waiting area. She was the third person, and I'm thinking, well, this doesn't look too busy. Why are the beds full? Well, they only have a certain number of beds that they open up during the night. And so during the day, they open up more beds anyway. So she's sitting there, she's suffering, she's suffering, she's in pain, um, she's throwing up, uh, feeling really bad. And as a husband, I can't do anything to fix this. You know, when you're a husband, what we do for our, our wives, our spouses, and our families is we fix things, right? Well, there are some things that you can't fix. 
because you don't have the knowledge, the skill, the ability. And so we sit there and we give support. So I'm sitting there next to Oki. She's over here to the right. <clears throat> and I'm holding her, her barf bag and being there trying to, to get somebody to recognize that we really need help. Typically, if you're not bleeding or you haven't passed out, you know, you sit and you wait your turn. Well, the pain got so bad for her that she ended up passing out and she rolled right out into the floor. So I uh, hollered at the desk, we need a little help here. And then bam, we had all kinds of people come out of the woodwork. The doctor was out there, um, techs were out there, we had a nurse out there. And so they were working on her, trying to uh, figure out what was going on. We had no idea that she had uh, a, a stone, a kidney stone. You know, we thought, okay, gallbladder, there's something serious wrong, you know, and that's stressful when you're trying to figure out what is going on with my spouse. And uh, anyway, she rolled out on the floor. Uh, they tried to wake her up. She wouldn't wake up. She was passed out. And uh, so they had to work on getting her um to wake up, they got her on a gurney, put her in into a bed in an area of the ER they hadn't even opened yet. So anyway, nurses started working on her, got her some uh, morphine, which helped her a lot. And uh, and then she, ha she also had uh, nausea, which I guess is pretty common when you have uh, kidney stones and you're, and you're going through that much pain. Anyway, it was a tough uh, couple of days. She's on the mend. She's uh, get, they gave her some meds. She's not taking pain meds anymore. The stone is still moving. hasn't uh, hasn't resolved or dissolved itself yet. So, but she's up walking around. She's you know got a little pain. Uh, nausea is gone. She's not taking any pain meds, just waiting for nature to take its course. So anyway, uh, hope that was okay to share with you guys. But that's been our week. All right. Let me catch up with the chat here. Talca Detector is here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. Snow, ooh, 30 degrees and snow. I think Jane mentioned it was snowing up there in Flagstaff. 65 in Florida, Tim says. Awesome, thank you, Talca Detector. 61 where Jane is, up there in Havasu. That's about the same as we are. Ha <laughs> ha. Keep that snow, James. Keep that snow. Yeah. Kidney stones. Oh, you know, I've talked to people who have gone through that and they, they, you know, they say, yeah, it's very painful. But watching Oki go through it, my gosh. Yeah. Terrible plane. Thank you, D. She's doing much better. Gracie and Jacques are here. Good morning. Good morning. Another channel member. And Gracie, I still have those uh, those uh, phone holders. I found a box. I'm going to pack those up and mail them out to you. Yeah, it's definitely no fun, huh? Terry went through that traveling on adventures, and she had a kind of a scary experience. But she's okay. You got that right. Hospitals are in bad shape today. Why is that? I think during COVID, there were so many mandates and it was really a tough, tough time for staff in hospitals, especially nurses. And a lot of nurses got out of the, out of the business and went off to do something else. Um, Johnny's journey uh, did that. I don't know if that was a result of COVID, but she, uh, she opened up her business and she actually built the interior on Gracie and Jacques' Adventures van. And uh, that's what she's doing. Thank you, Gracie. Appreciate it. Five hours. Wow. 
Yeah, see, and Oki was throwing up on the way to the hospital. They gave her a bag in the ambulance. Worst ride of her life, she said, because if you've ever ridden in an ambulance, they're bumpy as hell. And she, I could tell the driver was trying to go around the potholes and the bumps because the ambulance uh, vehicles, they ride like lumber wagons. And I knew she was suffering, but I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, yeah. She said the same thing. I felt helpless. And you you want you just want someone to fix it. Well, anyway, so they did a CT scan on her and and uh, came back and they said, you have a kidney stone. So that was almost a relief, although one of the most painful things to go through, at least it was something that we could manage. So a kidney stone and getting rid of that. And they gave her some medication to take to kind of open up everything. Um, we also heard a lot of advice from people about uh, taking uh, apple cider vinegar, which she's uh, sipping on and things like that. But she's doing better. She's not out of the woods yet, but uh, yeah, and headaches with vomit usually first. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it was terrible. You know, like I said earlier, um, you know, husbands in my case and spouses, uh, you know, even wives and, and, uh, and you know, partners, uh, you want to help each other and fix things. And I couldn't do a thing. Extreme pain, kidney stone infection and bladder. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Doctor said I wouldn't have made it. Wow. And Terry had a <clears throat> a bad experience too. I mean, they had to fly her to California to get her the help. She they were up there on courtside. Thank you, Brene. Thank you. Yeah, it was scary. All right, thank you. There's Van Life Voyages coming up. 8.38. It's 8.38 here in Arizona. Thank you, James. Appreciate that. There's Char's channel. Thank you, Ringo. Hit the thumbs up, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, 50 degrees in quartzite. We like that, huh? We like that. Anyway, um, our daughter, Sheena, visited yesterday. For, she had slept overnight, actually the night, excuse me, the night before, checking on mama. And uh, she was up in the uh, Prescott area for a, um, for a school event. They took the sixth graders up there for a camp up there and uh, she was kind of out of town. So we waited to tell her uh, until she had arrived up there and was settled in and then kind of told her, you know, everything's fine. Just want to let you know that uh, your mama's in the hospital, but she'll be okay. Aussie Van Man is here. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on in here? I'm not doing it right. What's going on in here? Good to have you. Got to see uh, Aussie Van Man at the Ironwood meetup. 45. <clears throat> yeah, that's a little cool, but it, it certainly warms up. What's up with it? Yeah, it seems like it. Huh? A lot of folks are having kidney stones. <clears throat> so I'm trying to do what I can to prevent. And Oki did some research, and most men have the majority of kidney stones from what she read. And I think a lot of it is is uh, we're working outside in the heat, especially, and, and not drinking enough water. That's what causes a lot of that is not drinking enough water. 
so the first thing I do, and I've done it for years, Oki got me started on it years ago, was I get up before I do anything, I drink a whole glass of water, get you hydrated. And, you know, as I age, I'm getting the, the creaky joints and the arthritis. <clears throat> and I notice that when I drink enough water, I drink a lot of water, it helps with uh, the joints. The joints don't hurt as much. There's Ringo saying hello. Uh, oh, that's right. You, you had to get some work done on the van. Hopefully that's uh, under warranty. Thank you, Char. She's got 46 right there in Arkansas. All right, Rose. Thank you very much for popping in as long as you could. Have a safe ride. Give those puppies a hug for us. And Merton and Sue as well. And Merton, drive safely. I know you will. <laughs> Old car junkie is here. Good morning. Good morning, Teddy. Good to have you. Thank you, Char. Scrolling, scrolling. Good to have you, Teddy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I know. That's what we were trying to... Uh, Sue had one too, yeah. Sue had one. Terry had one. Oki had one. Uh, we've had neighbors that live in the area that have gone through them too. Not sure what it is. All right, Tanya, we'll be over there shortly. Yeah, she's going to give us an update on how Derek's doing. And uh, he just had an operation. Uh, took a while to get him healthy enough for the operation. So that that worked out. Hopefully that worked out well. Oh, okay. Kidney stones running her family. Yeah. Oki said that they told her hers was four millimeters and five is the max that you can pass. Seven is pretty big. And I think they had to go in and, and take Terry's out too. Oh, Brene. That's uh, Brene with a B. Yeah. Char, that's Brene, fairy dust. Okay, pickle juice, huh? Helps with the bones too. That's good to know, James. There's Teddy's channel. Thank you, Brene. Eighteen millimeters. Wow. That's huge. My goodness, that is huge. All right. So our daughter visited. We had a nice time with her. And uh, <clears throat> she her, her kids go to see their father every other week. And so Sheena gets a little uh, time to herself. And then it was nice to have her over here. You know, when you have teenagers, they, they mama, 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 you know, they're always wanting mama for something or wanting to go out and have fun. And, and so we were able just to kind of relax and sit around and chit chat, just uh, Oki and, uh, and Sheena got a chance to, you know, just do the mother daughter chit chat and they had a good time. And it was a nice visit. So she's back home again and they just live 10 miles away or so. So it's not not too far away, but it was nice having her here. All right. What's going on again this week? Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be helping a neighbor out or neighbor across the road. We share a well with her, a water well. Uh, she's going to be taking some folks on a trip for bird watching. And, and she has birds herself in her house that she needs help feeding. She has a hornbill outside and then she has some canaries inside. So she needs some help 
uh, feeding them while she's gone for four days. So I'm going to go over and learn how to feed birds. And that should be interesting. Oh, here comes Lucas again. He just zoom through here. She just told me hers was the size of a quarter. Yikes. A quarter. That thing, that's like that big, huh? Man, oh, man. So we've been uh, watching some videos on different doctors on, uh, on what causes uh, kidney stones. And I guess there are three different ways they're caused. I don't remember everything, but... You know, it's uh, it's like uh, <clears throat> it's like a bacteria or something that gets in there, and then it starts to be coated up, and and just adds coating to it until it gets bigger and bigger, and and it gets stuck, I guess. <clears throat> okay, pickle with your iron and vitamin C. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, that is crazy. That is huge. Janice from Oz is here. <clears throat> Good morning, Janice. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Busy week. We, we're getting through the kidney stone. Um, and then uh, I'm coming up on my annual checkup at the Veterans Administration, the VA hospital. So I'm going in tomorrow morning for a, uh, a blood draw. So I have to do the fasting 12-hour fast blood draw. Well, Oki and I usually do the intermittent fasting anyway, so that's pretty easy. So 8.30 tomorrow morning, I got to go in and, and have blood drawn. And then guess what? I got a root canal on Thursday. I've had um, some teeth problems over the last few months. I had one pulled. And then the one next to it still has infection in it. And so I have to have a root canal done on it. And I guess, which I didn't know before, that if you leave that infection in there, it actually eats away the bone where your teeth are anchored to. And so I had to have a bone graft uh, so I can have this one tooth replaced. And that, that went okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to have a post tooth put in. Oh, there's Grandma Kelly right there. Good morning. Good morning. I was just showing off this awesome cup I got. I got a green screen. So it looks a little weird. Let me, let me show the picture of it. There it is right there. That's Grandma Kelly's uh, cup on her merch store. That's pretty cool, huh? That's one other thing that Apple does is you can remove backgrounds from photos. So I took a picture of her cup and then clicked on remove background. And then it comes out like this. But anyway, it's a great cup. I really like it. Stainless steel. Holds a lot of coffee and it keeps it hot. So thank you, Grandma Kelly, for being a channel member. And uh, thanks for having good merchandise on your channel for us to enjoy. Grandma Kelly saying hello. And she just moved into a house, bought a house, moved into it, and she's been fixing it up. Uh, this is a, an old farmhouse that she bought up there. I think it's up in Washington, right? And uh, she's working on fixing it up. And it's really, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of root canals over the years. Oh, let me get rid of that. As much as we like it, I have to sit over here, huh? Boom, there we go. I'm back. Root canal last year, yeah, I've had a few of them. And uh, I really didn't understand. So they take the root out of your tooth. They actually drill it out. And what that does is it takes, 
the infection away because what happens is the root goes bad and and it starts infection, right? So you get that that abscess in there. And then a lot of people will just wait for that to go away, which is what I did. I said, well, I don't have the pain anymore. Pain's gone. I'm good to go. Well, I found out that there was a huge area up there that was infected. I didn't feel it. It, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't seriously bad. Uh, it was for a while, but it got better. And so I thought, okay, it got better. I'm good to go. Well, it turned out I wasn't <clears throat> good to go. And uh, it uh, it's costing me a little money, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it fixed up so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. So we can hopefully start our own live next week. That'll be good. So Traveling on Adventures has uh, enough subscribers, but they need some watch hours. So if you have time, go over there and run their playlists. Went to the doctor. He said, I'm going to outlive him. Good for you, James. Good for you. Yep. 20% off, right? Thank you. Oh, 25% off. Awesome. Awesome. Everything in the merch store is 25% off. There's Teddy saying hello. The sun's a little higher now. It's 54. Yeah. You guys have clouds up there, Roy? We got kind of a uh, cloudy, a little bit cloudy. <clears throat> Boy, the poppies up here. We got more rain the other day. Everything on our property is green. Of course, it's weeds, right? That's okay. We'll take it. But all the trees are starting to uh, bud out now. The yellow poppies are everywhere. I took the drone out again the other day. And the thing with flying the drone when you're up, you know, 100 feet off the ground, it's pretty hard to see a poppy that big around. Even a field of them is not easy to see. So I, I did some low-level flying to try to capture them. And I did a little better job this time. I think I'm going to put together a, a little video with the poppy fields that I flew over. There's Kelly saying hello. But I'm really enjoying watching Grandma Kelly's videos on, on geez, she had to do a lot of work to the house. You know, just getting uh, basic electricity and, you know, getting the kitchen uh, sink taken care of, getting water in the kitchen, you know, things like that. It was an old farmhouse, really cool, uh, neat looking house. Uh, work on the roof, just, just a lot of work. And uh, she's doing a great job. 1930s. Okay, Elma, Washington. That is cool. You know, I enjoyed visiting my grandparents up there in Nebraska. They lived in Ithaca, Nebraska. Dad grew up on a farm. And, uh, and when I was a kid, we used to go up there for the summers. And that was some of the best times we would drive up there and in a Ford station wagon, it was a 1962 Ford, no, 64. 1964 Ford station wagon with a 351. And boy, dad would run 80, 90 miles an hour up there from Arizona to Nebraska. And then we would stay there. I don't remember how long we stayed there, but it was fun. Every minute we were up there, we got to to feed the, the baby cows. We hauled uh, corn husk from the corn crib into the house so grandma could cook. She used corn cobs to, uh, to fire up her stove, and that's what she used to cook with. Good times, good memories. Uh-oh. Might be time to buy a new printer, Janice. <clears throat> I know they're pretty cheap, but the ink is not cheap, right? I bought an HP, oh, it's probably a year ago now, and it's doing pretty well. And uh, But the printer ink is terribly expensive. Mm, I need to be, <clears throat> oh, I need to turn that around, huh? 
Oh, roof and gutters. Okay. <clears throat> That's probably the most important thing I would say on a house besides electricity and water is having a good roof. We had, uh, we had to have a new roof put on our place. It was 19 years old. It was built back in 2004. And when the storms come in, they come in from the south, southwest, and they were ripping, uh, ripping uh, shingles off the roof. And so we finally had to, um, to get a new roof. There's Char saying hello. So we got that done. A lot of money. It takes a lot of money, but we it's a metal roof. We're not going to have to worry about it. That's what happened to Oki. Couldn't have emergency surgery because, oh, yeah, that's what happened to Terry, sepsis. Wow. Yeah, that's what Terry from Traveling on Adventures went through. Exactly that. And so they told Oki, they said, if you start getting a fever, get your butt back in here. So I'm watching her like a hawk. Partly cloudy up there. Okay. Yeah, we got just some light clouds. 3 a.m. where Janice is, and she's still hanging out with us. Thank you. <clears throat> January 2020. <clears throat> before the pandemic shut down, okay. Yeah. That's tough, huh? And you know, that reminds us when you go through a significant medical event like that, it really reminds us how precious good health is, huh? When you can get up, and Oki always says, when you can get up and you can have a cup of coffee with your Grandma Kelly's cup and you can walk around and you can enjoy nature and look at the green coming out in the springtime, that's a good day. And we should all be thankful for good health. So, And then, of course, we have to work to maintain good health. And uh, so we have to do that as well. All right, coming up on 8.58. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Sounds like it's time for a new printer, Janice. A new printer. Okay, folks, uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks, everybody, for coming in today. We'll go over and uh, and visit with Tanya and get an update on how Derek is doing. Hopefully every uh, everything worked out for him. Van Life Voyages is coming up. I'm gonna run a couple of videos to get me to the top of the hour. Also, uh, Ava Potterfield and friends, uh, she shouted me out this morning. <clears throat> she, uh, her and Doug played a lot of music for St. Patty's Day yesterday. So she only got a little bit of sleep and she went back to bed and she's resting. So uh, Ava Potterfield and friends, hope uh, you have a good rest, Ava. And uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm gonna run this little pond video and then my outro. So thanks everybody for being here. We'll see you next time.